Hello and welcome back to Sky Factory. I've done a bit of farming, got a little bit of wood and a few saplings. Work on the next step and to find out what these silkworms do. Yep, we just work and then the trees grow. Don't ask me how it works, I, I don't know, but it somehow does and I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna eat some apples too. I fucking broke a sapling. And these silkworms start these around in the tree. You see, these are infesting now, and then these will eventually spread to essentially the entire tree. See, they're already starting to spread around these now. I'm just gonna go into F1 mode. We can just time lapse and watch these infest, and we'll be with you once these are done. Okay, guys, we're back. These leaves are mostly infested. I think there's still like a couple near the top which aren't fully done yet. I'm gonna have to make a couple more though, just to make sure I have enough. What the fucking hell is... The, what are you doing, Minecraft? I mean, what we do is we break these, and then we get string. What do we do with the string, you may ask? We take this string, then we make what's called silk mesh. So we take this silk mesh, and then put these sticks in here, put some wood in there, and then put these silk mesh in the middle. Then we make a sieve. Then we place down the sieve, and we take some dirt, then this dirt we put into the sieve, we sieve the dirt, then this we get gives a stone. These little tiny stone pebble things. Okay, so we take the stones, I just need more stones yet, but we'll take some more dirt. We'll fill the pebbles up with some more saplings. You'd stick the dirt in the sieve, sieve the dirt. And then, once you have four stones, you take the stones, put them into a little, you put the stones into a square, and we make a cobblestone. Now what we do, is we make a hammer. Then we can place down the cobblestone, break the cobblestone with said hammer. And we get gravel. We can place down the gravel. Break it with a hammer, and we get sand. Place down the sand. Break it with a hammer, and we get dust. And now with this dust, we need to wait for this water to fill up. Now we have the water in there, we can place in dust, and we get clay. Mm. Then with the clay, we can put down the clay, break the clay, and we get clay balls. Now we just need to make a bunch of clay. We've got the dust in there. And make another clay ball. Right, now we have 12. That should be enough. First thing we need is a clay bucket. We need porcelain clay. Which we make using bone meal. Which we don't yet have. How do I get bone meal? I've forgotten. Bone meal we get from sieving dust. Okay. Then it's just a case of farming a bunch of this stuff. Okay. Six and a half hours later. Oh, finally I got one bone meal. That's awesome. <laughs> I need seven of them. Four to six weeks later. Oh, look at that. We have the seven bone meal we need now. Look at that. I think I'm going to cheat slightly. Let's give my... Give myself some bones. And, okay. Then with this bone meal, we combine it with the clay. Then this gives us porcelain clay. Then with this porcelain clay, we make a crucible. And then guess what? We cook the crucible. Which results in a crucible. Let me pick up the torch, throw the torch just under there, stick the crucible on top of the torch, put the cobblestone into the crucible, and you can see the top, fluid lava. So I, I believe one block of cobblestone gives you 256 miller buckets, and then obviously we need 1000 miller buckets to make a bucket. It's just a case of needing more stone. So yeah, so you get 250 miller buckets from one block of cobblestone. And obviously you need a thousand miller buckets to make a full bucket. And I would also assume if you have a thousand buckets of lava that would be a mega bucket, but you know. Oh, a killer bucket. Not a mega bucket. A mega bucket would be a million buckets of lava. Which is a lot of lava today if you think about it. Yeah, and then it's three more blocks of cobblestone. And it's just a case of waiting for that to finish. And that's a full bucket of lava. And then the next step is just over here. We need to build out the platform and thus we start the cobble gen and then 
block there, block there, block there, block there, block there, block there. Okay. Get over this so very high. And on one of them we need to place a block of dirt in the corner. We need to throw water in this side. We just need to wait for this lava to finish. Then lava can go in that side. And we've built a cobble gen. <laughs> oh shit. You know what? That can just stay up there. We can't bother. Thousand millibuckets of lava. So there's one full bucket. So we can pick that up. We can stick that in there. We have built a cobblestone generator. <coughs> I don't know why it's obvious to go for this design. Like just a standard like row of blocks along the bottom. You have like a lava in the one side, water in the other side. Like you dig one block down in the middle and yeah. That one. Like it's generally more efficient. But I just like this one because they look way nicer. And it's also way easier to automate as well. Which we'll get to maybe next episode, maybe the ep episode after. But you know you have this cobble gen. They're getting resources. Like all of this like copper, iron, redstone, aluminium, platin, pl 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 platinum. Fucking, I'm I'm a fucking idiot. That's platinum. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. All of, anyway, all of this, all the like, minerals and resources and stuff you can get from Steven. My fucking ADHD is blabbering on. None of you care. This will probably all get cut out. And obviously, what we can do is just place some of this down. Place some of this now. Like slowly turn this entire entire thing into cobble. We have a cobble generation now. What's the next step? We have, we have advanced to the Stone Age. Hostile mob spawner, passive mob spawner, second base. Make obsidian with a stone barrel. I've actually forgotten how to make obsidian, but you know. Make a tinker's construct smeltery. Oh, that's effort. Yeah, this is the one I'm excited about. This is the exciting one. This one right here. Which we're gonna get to, which we're gonna get to next episode. So look forward to that. And what we can also what we also need as well, thinking about it. Technically, don't need one, but it makes it way easier. Here's a better bevel. Which, to be fair, we can do now. Chest in the middle, slab above it. And then a bunch of wood. Cool. And so next episode, we're making a transfer node and world interaction upgrade and that sort of stuff. Then we can automate this. And then, yeah. That'll leave the next episode, though. So as for this episode, you can like and subscribe and share and comment and that sort of stuff. I can see you in the next episode, whenever that may be.